now, baby! Lot of bird. Shoot them, stack them, and crack them. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Barcelona Outdoors. Today we're in Lubbock, Texas, hunting cranes, waiting for them to fall out of the sky so we can have some great dinner tonight. Our goal of this video is obviously to kill some cranes, but we're also going to show you <laughs> if they decide to fly in. Yeah, right. <laughs> hunting cranes today. We got a black IP field. Should be out of here soon with a limit. Ye we gotta, come, we gotta come up with a new name. Like, every video I've watched, they always go ribeye of the sky, you know? It's, that's bullshit anyways. Why, why do you say that? Because it's a sirloin. And so what's the new name? Cloud Sirloins. Title Sirloins Smackdown. <laughs> the Sirloin Everybody's Smackdown. Like, what is that? <laughs> so the coolest part about hunting these cranes is watching them come into the decoy spread and putting their dinosaur legs and dinosaur claws out in your face. It's bad to the bone, man. They put on a show. Second coolest thing about hunting these cranes is pulling the trigger. And the third, well, you'll find out tonight for dinner. Got a spread of how many birds would you say? Five dozen. Five dozen decoys. Yeah. There is roughly about a thousand cranes in here yesterday. We should decoy them right in our face. And if y'all can shoot, we'll, we'll have a good hunt. Up to you, buddy. The thing about cranes, too, they're actually super smart. So you would consider the crane kind of like my intelligence, right? You know what a coot is? I know what a coot is. <laughs> That's messed up. I'm excited. Yeah, I haven't gone on a lot of waterfowl hunts this year. Hey, and so Brock with Triple Play Outfitters asked me to call on this hunt. He actually took our friend Griffin Johnson out with these guys, Spec Ops, to shoot a bunch of cranes. I'm like, okay, I'm jealous. I need to get out here. So I made the trip down to Lubbock. It was a pain in the butt to get down here because all my flights were consistently canceled. I'm excited. I um, got a haircut just for this and I put some moose in my hair. I'm really excited that the cranes are going to come and take a good look at me this morning. I went out on the town last night and that was a bad decision. The boys are like more worried about getting wasted. I'm over here trying to kill some birds. He showed back up to the Airbnb at 2 a.m. I didn't get any birds last night, so I'm gonna redeem myself today. You mean, so you wanted some chicks? Yeah, that's what that means, Sid. Well, yeah, I'm not done. Come on, are you serious? The cranes are coming. Yeah, I'm glad to see y'all are awake now. There we go. Yeah, baby! That's why we came! Yeah! My first ever crane hunt was actually with Finner. Finner? <laughs> and he just said this is definitely better than the first crane hunt we've ever been on. Because that's true. This is awesome. Earlier this morning we had like zero mile per hour winds, maybe one, and now it picked up a little bit. So the birds beat down, locked and loaded, and we just got them down on the ground. Yeah. But check out these birds. Here's a sandhill crane. Look at the body, all that meat. If you've been watching the videos, you notice the dogs actually have goggles. The reason everybody's like, dude, why does your dog wear goggles? So this is a lesser sandhill crane. The graders, their beaks are actually probably another two inches longer than this. But out west, man, you get a lot of these small cranes and they will peck a dog's eyes out. And not only is it their beak, if you wound these birds, they'll get on their back and they'll rise up to, to fight these claws right there. It's, uh, I know you've seen Jurassic Park. It's no bueno for a dog, so. You're gonna scare them off of anything. We're here, guys. It's your gun jam. First time? First time what? Using a gun? Well, you yeah. sound like an am uh, amateur saying that because you can tell that's not cycling, so I was trying to push it forward so it would lock in place. Damn. Damn. Well then. Grant's gonna shoot first and I'm gonna be right behind him, and then if we both miss, then the, the team's gonna come melee. Miss. Let's go. First bird for me. Shoot it! Yeah! I got it on video! Go ahead, guys! Let's go! <laughs> I started fire in there. Ah, that was fun. What a day to end. We got a, how many guys? Nine man limit. You got a copy? We killed them all. Ain't no more birds left in West Texas. Find a new place. 
over and out. An absolute blast. Spec Ops literally is best. The freaking collab we needed. Texas DNR, could you upgrade the limits, please? Done. We did it. Oh, yeah. Another day, another bird. All right, you know what the best time is now, guys? Breakfast time? Breakfast. Brock, did you shoot one of those? Rip here. Oh, there was two, so I, I shot them both. Are you mad at me or something? I'm, hey, I'm sorry. Incoming. So, like, obviously, they're not here all summer long. These birds come from somewhere. These birds come from Siberia, uh, Canada, pretty much just north of here, Alaska. They get in the thermal winds, they lock their wings, and they'll fall asleep in flight. And whenever they wake up, I guess they find a place that they want to sit. It's going to have grain, it's going to have wheat, it's going to have some kind of food source. As far as, like, months go, when do they come here and when do they leave? Earliest I've seen them get here is August, and they'll leave April to May, just depending on how many late cold fronts we get in the area. One day, a heavy south wind in, in March could push them all out. It's just, it really depends. The central flyway is definitely their favorite flyway to partake in. Bryce, how do you think today went? It was awesome. Shout out to Spec House for having us. Uh, triple, a, triple play collaboration here. Appreciate y'all having us out and obviously, like I said, best in the business. Here's a story about how I got included here. Bryce and Brock um, actually invited me to come do this. They do a lot of fun things down south Texas, which if you've been watching my stuff, I love to bow hunt, and they like to do that kind of stuff too. So that's their main gig. Yeah, those four -legged animals. They were like, hey, you gotta come to, and hunt with Spec Ops and shoot some cranes, and I'm glad I did. We've made it back to the lodge. Got a lot of birds to clean, oh. so. Cue cleaning montage. Ten ounce sirloin. Cook it just like a steak. This is one that you would throw in the pit right now. Feel this, feel how relaxed okay. like this breast is. Oh, yeah. That did not sound very good. Now I'm chicken frying some crane. Uh, we've got a mixture of flour and seasoning here. And we're frying it in peanut oil. So we're also cooking up the thighs, so you can use the back thighs of the bird. We got the breast, and then we also kept the heart. So Finner's making some fajita mixture with the heart. This is what I'm really excited to try. So I got my first fajita heart crane taco. There we go. This is all crane heart, so cheers. It's delicious. Everything crane is so good. It's so good, right? She's not lying. <clears throat> Go on a hunt and cook one, and it's the only thing you're gonna wanna harvest ever again. It's better than deer. Day two, out here, Barstool Sports, Triple Play Outfitters, Spec Ops. Today we're in layout blinds and a field. Alex is freezing his balls off already. He's wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt, uh, and it's like 20 degrees, but <laughs> little amateur hour over here. 18 mile an hour winds today. We have clear skies and uh, hire me as your brother girl. Let's go, baby. Definitely got my first official kill. Feels good. I'm sitting in the middle, and the bird died. Kill him. Dang, this is an awesome day. We got clear skies, lots of birds. Just waiting them to work into the spread. It's getting greasy, boys. Let's keep at it. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs>
I got that on the GoPro! Wow. Oh, man, that's, a big that's a beautiful one. from the man behind the camera today, Colin. It's me. What's up? Colin's a badass videographer, Yo. photographer. Yo. Colin, Yo. what's your at so everybody can go check you out? My at is Colin Took It. At you, Colin Took It. How do you spell that? C-O-L-I-N and then Took It. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up our trip here with our buds. And now I got dust all over the camera. So let's just do this a little bit. Audio is pretty bad. So Finner and uh, Alex are actually blocking but we just wrapped up our hunt and uh, that pretty much wraps up our trip here in Lubbock, Texas. Yeah. Sean, Sean, I kind of fumbled the bag on that with the main camera.